not January. What the hell is wrong with me? It starts with a J. It's July 11th, 2019, 8.01 p.m. I, I'm burned out. I'm a little bit tired. Um, I just finished, I think. I better not jinx myself. I'm making this video now because I'm waiting for uh, CNN to get back with me. I said that they think they sucked at the idea for this week. So I'm like, are you sure? And I'm waiting for that. Yeah, we should. Sure. Um, I think we did only like 13 ideas. So only 13 ideas. Oh my God. You all get one of those tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, and I draw those in the morning if, if we have selected it. Um, today's cartoon, I decided to be ambitious and this took a long time. I definitely did not record all of it. Didn't record the roughing, didn't record the lettering, didn't record some of the artwork, didn't record some of the coloring. Um, you got, I recorded about an hour and an hour plus of it. Uh, so the video is about 10 minutes long. Too long, I know. But it took closer, it took between 8 to 10 hours, I think. Um, I forget what time I actually started it yesterday. I did this in two stages. I started it in the afternoon, roughed it out, did all the lettering, had, had the had it proofread and then about 4 a.m. Uh, after napping I started all the art the real artwork the actual drawing and the coloring and the shading um, the actual size of this is we'll fill up a tabloid a full page on a tabloid uh, what I did was I about three years ago um, a local tabloid here asked me to do a full page cartoon for them and so I did and I did a lot of running around to figure out how big, how large to make it. And I decided to just go ahead and make it the, the actual size of the tabloid. Um, so when I did this, I went back to that, because I keep everything now, and I found the measurements, dimensions, and uh, I used that. It will be interesting to see which of my clients actually do something with this. So. Uh, this was uh, inspired by the social media summit that Donald Trump was throwing. Uh, conservatives love this theory that they are, you know, discriminated against on social media and the internet and everything. Uh, they're mad at not just Facebook and Twitter, but also Google. Um, you should visit my Instagram page because nobody's shutting up the fuck nuts there. And, um... But he invited a bunch of wackanoodles to this whole thing. Wackanoodles. I think I'm going to use that one for, again. Um, to this social media summit. He did not invite Google or Facebook or Twitter. It's like, oh, I want to solve this supposed problem. But he doesn't invite the people to talk to about it. That's an email, but not from CNN. Uh. Um, but he, he invited the guy that did all the Veritas videos. He, he invited... Uh, a former journalist who was an activist who got fired from BuzzFeed for plagiarism. Uh, he invited some other fucknuts. Um, should have said whack noodles again. And um, one person he invited was Ben Garrison, who is this cartoonist who, who loves Donald Trump. He draws Donald Trump with muscles and everything. He tries to make the hair look as slightly ridiculous as possible, I guess. Um, he like has a normal tie. He's always got this big smile or steely, girthy grimace on his face like he's strong you know he is he's like his vision of what a manly man is when he draws him and um and actually the caricature here is kind of like what he draws him of and this guy's name is ben garrison and this guy he doesn't just drink the kool-aid he is like on a kool-aid iv drip i mean he loves trump but the thing is i, I people are like how can you attack another cartoonist like this He's not a political cartoonist, people. He's a propagandist. And you're like, well, what's the difference with that? Well, first off, he accepted an invite to help a politician advance agenda based upon a conspiracy theory. Um, we don't do that. Someone said to me, well, you know what? Nancy Pelosi should invite you and a bunch of other cartoonists to Congress and just to show them what real cartoonists are. And I said, no, I wouldn't do that either. I wouldn't go. Um... This guy's very popular at Wing Circles. But he got disinvited after being invited. And for him, that broke his heart. And I feel bad for him because he doesn't get to do the Big Mac. Uh, and I think his Kool-Aid is in the mail, though. But for this guy, man, he loves Donald Trump. He probably goes to the, to the Trump site and buys all, all the, the Trump paraphernalia and stuff, memorabilia. I mean, for him going to the White House to be invited by Donald Trump was like Nazi space camp. I mean, he, he was excited. He put the picture of the invite on Twitter. He, he was totally geeking out. 
And I hope he hadn't already bought his plane ticket and, and was in the air when, when he was disinvited. Um, poor guy. Poor, poor guy. Poor Ben Garrison. You know, but he was uninvited because uh, one of his cartoons got more attention uh, for being anti-Semitic. And the funny thing is, it was kind of similar in the same vein as the one that Donald Trump and other conservatives had attacked the New York Times for. So it's like, well, I guess we can't have this guy. But how bad off are you when you are uninvited from the hater party? <laughs> I mean, these are like some real troglodyte people, and they told him that he was too troglodyte to be there. But the guy... Uh, the other reason he is not a real political cartoonist is because he bases his opinions on conspiracy theories. Not stuff that he, not just stuff that people argue about, you know, he bases stuff on shit that's not true at all. And if Donald Trump tells him something, he believes that is the truth. And that's why he argues. He is a total Trump sickle fan in the cult. So, yeah. Let's do some shout outs now. Gary D is brand new. Hey, Gary D, how's it going? Here's your shout out. Said your name on the internet, on the YouTube, Gary D. Uh, Gary said, if there ever, if ever there was a time for a court jester to be restored to its proper place in the ruling order, now is the time. I think we get that. Um, TJ said, hello, TJ. The, that last one was seen in St. Trump raped her was definitely lying, though. How do you know, TJ? Were you there? Uh, oh man, the justice for many AOC thing is all about the death threats and the eventual stoppage of satirical content from a little girl that looks like AOC. Never seen a mini AOC video? Well, due to the death threats, she'll never see a new one. Um, I heard something about that, but I didn't take too much into it. I'll, I'll go back and read more about it. So I can't really comment on what you said there because I don't like to comment on stuff that I don't know everything about, you know? Um, Arrow said, if all British. It was sound pompous, and pompous is now defined as sexy. Well, some people will say, I'm going to get in trouble for this, that even bitchy is sexy. Some people say that, you know. Um, I've never said it. I didn't unsay it either. But, you know, yeah, pompous can be sexy. Why not? Everybody has their thing. And Arrow said, man, I don't know why my comments are confusing lately. Sorry. Sad emoji. I'll just move on. Uh... Robert Cortino said, answer to comment 520, do you think she dropped the rape charge? Because we know what the New York District Prosecutor thinks about Epstein. It was because he was a billionaire. And also, he wrote, I want to find a way to get Trump to disinvite me. That would be so cool. How does one go about getting insulted by this thing? I'm trying to get the guy to finally block me on Twitter. Wouldn't that be awesome? But now they just said that he can't do that. And that breaks my heart. I mean, like, Benji, for him, uh, he really wants to be invited to the White House. I just want to be disinvited. I, I did, um, when, um, what's his head, um, was the press person for like two days. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody tell me his name is, 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 it's, he emailed me a few times. So I said, Hey, I want to come to a press briefing. Cause I thought that would be amusing. I didn't ask to meet Trump or nothing like that, but I said, I want to come to a press briefing. And then he got fired the next day. Oh my God. Oh, this is his name. Um, but yeah, he was. He said, "Yeah, we'll work that out. We'll, I'll, I'll have you come to your press briefing." And um, dun, dun, there it goes. I wanted to see her, Sarah. Actually, it wasn't Sarah Huckabee Sanders that time. I didn't know who was going to be doing it. I thought he was going to be doing it. Um, actually, I think it was decided that Huckabee Sanders would be the press person at that moment because uh, Spicer had quit, but uh, he was in charge of her. Oh my God! Oh, I got a face in my head. Uh, and Amanda gave us a few English synonyms. Synonyms for the last cartoon. Synonyms. Synonyms. I just want to say cinnamon. Um, toss pot, tosser, ball bag, knobber, and knobhead. But I can't say synonyms. I just said it. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. All right, guys. This cartoon took a lot of work. It's like I should. Someone said, "Hey, you're like one." Page out of 300 for a graphic novel. No, 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 no. I don't want to do this again for another two years. I did the last one like three years ago. It's probably going to take another three years for me to do another one like this, which means someone's going to call me tomorrow and say, hey, can you do this for my magazine? And I'll say yes, because I don't know. I brutalized myself. All right. Leave a comment. You'll get a shout out. Hopefully CNN will email me in a minute. They haven't done it yet. Oh, then click the red button subscribe. Goodbye.